I am not here this weekend to find scandals. I'm here this weekend to avoid scandals. Um, but I've actually come to this party every year for a long time. I really love the White House Correspondents Center. It's just a fun, weird conglomerate of worlds coming together that fascinates me. What's your, uh, who are the, you know, the most fun people you've met? Who are you looking forward to seeing? What's the exciting part? Well, it's just such a fun, weird room that I could like stand around and have a great conversation with Woody Harrelson and then turn around and have a great conversation with Howard Feynman. Like, where else in the world can you do that within five minutes? Only here. So I imagine you've been following the campaign closely also? Yeah, I'm actually a surrogate for the Obama campaign and I'm in the administration, so working very hard to make sure that President Obama has another four years. So what, what do you think the uh, president, what kind of, what's his pitch? You know, you're, you're a public speaker. What, it, what does he have to do to get reelected? Or What does he do to get reelected? What are you saying to people as a surrogate for him? Well, it depends on the issue you're talking about, but I think, you know, fundamentally, we have too much at stake to not reelect this president. Whether you're talking about health care, whether you're talking about the Supreme Court, whether you're talking about immigration, whether you're talking about education, we cannot afford to have a Republican president in the White House right now. We just can't. So you're very steeped in the world of Hollywood. You're steeped in the world of D.C. What's a crazier town? <laughs> um, I don't know. That's debatable. I don't spend as much time in Washington, but I don't know. Probably Hollywood. <laughs> now, if you could send one person to the White House from Hollywood, an actor or an actress, who would, who would you have be president? Barack Obama. Well, uh, someone from Hollywood, an actor or an actress. No, he's not from Hollywood. Um, I don't, I, he's the only guy that I'm voting for these days.